Hey guys, this is part 5 of the Java game programming tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create an enemy, enemy and shoot them down with bullets using uh, collision detection. So let's get started. Let's create a new enemy.java file. And I'm going to import aught star and let's start with a class. Couple fields first. I'm going to do x, y, just the standard radius. Forgot to make them private. And then the standard dx, dy. Um, we're also going to need angle, radians and speed. Um, some other game related stuff. Health, uh, type, and rank. All of our enemy enemies are going to have a type and a rank. We also need color, and a couple booleans. One of them is ready. See if the enemy is ready, which means it's inside the game screen, or and um, dead. Let's see if the enemy is dead, which means health is zero or lower or whatever. Let's go ahead with the constructor. Public enemy. We're going to give it two things. Type and a rank. So set those. Now we're only going to start off with one type and rank. For now, um, type equals one. So this is like the default enemy type. These guys are going to be colored blue. And rank one, type one enemy is going to be like the default, the easiest enemy ever. Slow speed two, uh, radius is five, and it's going to have one health. So yeah, pretty sorry. Now we're going to set the uh, starting x and y. x is going to be just some random value. I guess the middle half of the game screen would be fine. So that's random times game panel width divided by 2 plus game panel width divided by 4. y is just going to be off screen at the top, so minus r. Now we need an angle. I want the angle to be facing downwards, so anywhere from let's say 20 degrees to 160 degrees, so 140 plus 20. Convert that into radians. And set the dx and dy. Again it's cosine, remember, x is cosine, times speed, don't forget the speed. I forgot that last time and the bullets were going slow. And dy is sine. And when it first starts out, ready is false, and of course dead is false. Now for the functions, we're gonna do some setters here. So get x, return x. Also gonna do get y and get r. So set those. Before we go any further, I want to copy. Go into the bullet class and add those three getters up here. Okay, now enemy, we're gonna have a couple of functions. One of them is hit. All this does is subtract one from health and checks if the enemy is dead. Less than or equal to zero. That is true. The other one is going to be is dead. Um, pretty much just return dead. Put that up here. <laughs> Looks more organized. Okay, so now there are two functions update and draw, of course.
update is simple plus equal to dx dy. Now we have to check if it's ready. If it's not ready, um, we have to check if it is. And it's ready if it's inside the game screen. So that's um, x greater than r, x is less than game panel dot width forms r, and same thing for y, game panel height. Then we are ready. Cool. We also want the enemy to be bouncing off the walls so it doesn't go off the screen. Um, so we do this. X is less than R, DX, and it's going left. We're gonna change the DX. Same thing with Y. And now the other side, x is greater than game panel dot width plus minus r. And dx is greater than zero. Swap y is game greater than game panel height minus r. dy greater than zero. dy negative dy. Cool. Okay, now draw is relatively simple. Set the color, whatever color we picked. Type 1 enemies are blue, so just blue. Um, need a fill oval at x minus r and y minus r. 2 times r here. Now we're gonna give it a border, so color 1 dot darker. We're gonna do the same exact thing, except we're gonna draw oval instead. Now I want to give it a thicker border, so um, g dot set stroke new basic stroke. This is gonna get set the line thickness to three. Set it back to one afterwards. That's pretty much it. Go back to game panel. Over here, I'm going to add a new public static array list of enemies called enemies. Set that up here. New array list enemy. Now, this is just temporary, this is just a test. We're going to add five new enemies. Um, enemies that Add new enemy type one rank one. Now don't forget that anything that you have in the game you have to put in up game update and game render. Here's player updates, bullet updates, and now enemy updates. Ooh. I is less than enemies that size, I plus plus. Update. Now we're going to do the same thing with draw, game render. Here we drew the player, the bullets, and now we are going to draw the enemies. Cool. So let's test this out. Compile and run. And there they are. They should be bouncing off the walls. Come on. Sweet. Cool. So now we are going to shoot them now. Go back to game update and this is where we check for collisions. Bullet enemy collision. Now bullet and enemy they're both circles, so this is gonna be circle circle collision. So loop through bullets and loop through enemies. Get 
J. Okay, so we, we're going to need three things in order to check for a circle-circle collision. We need the x, y, and radius. So double vx, v dot get x, double vy, get y, vr, get r. Same thing for enemy. So now we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance between the two points. Um, so dx, change in x is uh, this, change in y, by minus ui, and the distance formula, math uh, square root. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now we have to compare the distance to the radii of the enemy and the bullet. If it's less than the sum of them, then they have collided. And we're going to do several things when we have bullet enemy collision. Um, one. We're going to do e dot hit, enemy gets hit. Two, we're going to remove the bullet that, uh, that hit the enemy. So bullets start remove i, i minus minus. And we're going to break because that's it. So that's pretty much it for the bullet enemy collision. Next thing we're going to do, enemy, um, we're going to check enemy, check dead enemies. So again, loop through the enemies, and if enemies that get I that is dead, then we want to remove it from the list. Remove um, enemies. Dot remove. Cool. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's see if it's working. Compile and run. Alright. Uh, I can't aim. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. oh god, I can't aim. Okay. Cool. So the enemies are being annihilated here. So that's it for this video. In the next video I am going to uh, set up uh, enemy wave type of situation here where we have different waves and enemies keep spawning. So kind of like a level foundation kind of thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.